All right, guys, welcome to day number seven. Oh. Welcome to day number seven of trying to master tray flips in 10 days. Yesterday, day six went really, really well. We were able to beat our personal record and get six out of 10 tray flips. Again, our goal is to be able to get five tray flips in a row on day 10. So we've got today, day seven, day eight, day nine, three sessions left before day 10, where somehow we've got to be able to pull this out. Hopefully we've got tray flips on lock. I feel like we're really, really close. And I feel like today could be a tipping point. So the hope today is to be able to get seven out of 10. In the last video, I made a lot of tweaks to how I was going about approaching learning tray flips. Initially, I was just focusing on the four pillars and isolating the power, the technique, the balance, and the commitment. But in the last video, I switched it up where I just practiced the technique and then I did three sets of 10 trying to combine the power, the commitment, and the balance all in one to try and make this one fluid motion. Today, I'm gonna keep that basic same approach, but I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. So we're gonna be using a tip from Nige Houston's X Games 360 flip trick tip that probably goes unnoticed by most people. So here's the tip by Nige Houston. For you guys learning it, especially kids where you guys are still bringing up your popping stuff, try it up a ramp, that always helps. So the reason I think this tip is so powerful, for one, if you can't jump very high, it's going to help you get an idea of what the board is supposed to do underneath you, like Nye just said. It helps you if you don't really have the pop for the trick. But two, when you're popping a tray flip on flat ground, you only need to pop your board to about this angle to get the tail to click. The bank is already at this angle. You need to pop your board up to this angle. So you have to pop your board really, really steep and really vertical. And one thing you guys have probably noticed about my tray flips is I have the tendency to scoop them horizontally rather than let them flip vertically and kind of click the corner of the tail and let that upward momentum transfer into the tail and create that 360 flip rotation more effortlessly. Today, for the practice, we're still gonna work on the technique of actually scooping, and we're gonna practice scooping vertically, but then we're gonna do 10 reps of actually landing a tray flip out of the bank. So we're gonna go until we actually land 10, not just until we've tried 10, to try and get more tray flips under our belt. And then from there, we're gonna do one set of 10 attempts trying to land tray flips on flat ground, then rest and repeat and do 10 more reps of trying to land tray flips on flat ground and see how many out of 10 we can get. I'm hoping that by practicing on the bank, it will really help me with that vertical jump and vertical rotation. So I'm not trying to like kick behind me and jump so far forward and do this whole horizontal thing to really try and make the, do more of like a backflip kick flip, if that makes sense. So that's the goal today. Step one, we just got to get warmed up around the park. We don't have much time, but we've got the park all to ourselves. So let's get to work. Before I get into working on the tray flips, I just want to demonstrate what I mean for you guys about popping vertical. So on flat ground, you're only going to need to pop right there to get the tail. But look how much steeper the board gets once we're on an incline. So that's the idea is to hit this part of my tail like that. And since the board is coming up so vertical and it's going to hit that part of the tail, the rotation should be a lot more effortless because this should allow me to channel more energy down into the board rather than me jumping up and then using all this energy to try and push it sideways. So rather than like that, we want it to go like that. So let's practice some scoops. We'll do 10 of those and then see if we can break our record today. Okay, so just like P-Rod said, we're gonna put our foot just above the flat part of the kick right as it starts to get steep and then we're gonna focus on popping down and forward. Just like that. Started to fall forward on that one, but it's okay. There we go. I tried to stanky leg that one a little bit, only because if I stanky leg, it means I'm not kicking behind me. Since I'm popping straight down, my foot shouldn't be getting out like that. My foot should stay in my field of vision the whole time. 
just focusing on not letting my foot go behind me where I can't see it forces me to pop forward and get a more proper scoop. Scoops are feeling a lot better today. Let's, I'm not sure what we're at. Let's do three more though. All right, let's take it to the bank and see what happens. All right, I'm gonna see if I can do this in under 10 minutes. So we'll start a timer now, and hopefully we can get one per minute, knock this out. I think if we focus on what I'm talking about, just popping vertically, it shouldn't be too hard. All right guys, so apparently the camera turned off and I already did four tray flips out of this thing. It's really hot, I'm running out of time, I'm tired, so I'm just gonna do the last six. Sorry you missed the first four, but they'll probably look like the last six, so. Yeah, so that's what keeps happening. I keep getting close, but not close enough. What is going on? All right, that's six or five. Oh my God. I wanted the back to back. All right, now that's six. Seven. Two more. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see if we can do the last two back to back right now. All right, back to back right here. Oh, so close. Oh, sketchy, but we'll take it. All right, guys, something clicked for me while I was doing that, while I was trying to pop it vertical made me realize something. I started thinking of it like, how is this different from a pop shove it? What's the same and what's different? So for a pop shove it, your feet are in the middle of the board and your shoulders are, are square. So should be, right? Now the motion to me, it seems like it's the same, but instead of putting your feet in line with the center of the board, you're turned crooked. You just, it's like you just take your body and turn it like 15 degrees. Then I just think of it like it's a pop shove it. My body is like open. So it's almost as if I'm riding a board that's moving like this on top of the board that's actually going like that. So I just pretend I'm on like a crooked board and then I just jump up like a pop shove it. That's helping me channel the energy down into the board like a pop shove it rather than, oh, I've got to like scoop this thing behind me like a tray flip. So I don't know on the footage if it looks like I'm donkey kicking any less, but it definitely feels like I am. And I feel like the board's reacting differently. So unfortunately those 10 took a lot longer than I was hoping. So I am a little tired, but I'm gonna take a quick break, grab a drink, and then we're gonna go for 10 attempts. See if we can beat our record of six out of 10. All right, honestly, I took like a 10 second break. I don't want to lose the motion of the tray flip that I have right now. So zero for zero. Let's see what we can do. I definitely felt myself kick that time. Pop shovey. Okay. Felt like that was a bit better. I definitely think we're on to something. Hopefully I can keep a streak going. Oh. That was like 10% pop shove it, but mostly I reverted back to my old technique. But just adding that little bit of pop shove it in there definitely helps me keep my balance and get this thing flowing. So one for four. <laughs> Two for five. Three for six. I can feel it when I revert back to scooping and kicking rather than sticking to a crooked pop shove motion. I think we're just like right on the verge. Man, I'm right there. I can feel it. All right, three for nine. Four for 10. I know I didn't beat my record, but I feel like I low key am unlocking these as we speak. All right, took another 20 second break. Anytime I like really take a break, it just hurts my productivity. So let's grab some water, zero for zero. All right, we gotta make every single attempt count if we're gonna get seven out of 10. So right here. Oh, sketchy, that's one. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, so bad, but we take those. Oh, I felt it. Come on, right here, let's get a third. Three for five. Oh, 
Ah, we've got to make four in a row. We're going to beat our record. Let's get it right here. Oh, no. Man, I wanted that one so bad. I'm right there. Dude, they're right there, man. Just need to bring my back foot up higher, I guess. Oh, man. Losing it. That was so goofy, but whatever. Oh, mother. Gosh, dang it. Not gonna lie, I don't think that score really reflects the progress that I've made. We got four out of 10. I'm gonna do six more tri flips just to get it back to an even 10 because I feel like I've got this right now. Evidently, I forgot to film an outro, so I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching all of these videos, keeping up with the series. They're easy to film, but it takes forever to edit them, so thank you for your patience, and I'll see you in the next one.